this is the second general property of central force motion the second general property the motion under central force is planar the motion under central force is planar that means when we consider the angular momentum that the vector l equal to vector r cross vector p the vector r represent position vector and vector p represent linear momentum so vector p can be rewrite as mass into velocity so l equal to vector r cross m vector v and this term can this term can rearrange as vector l equal to m r cross v because these two are vector but m is scalar so the r cross v this term says the vector r perpendicular to vector v because this is cross product so r perpendicular to v that means the position vector is perpendicular to the velocity of the object please see here suppose we consider this is vector r so this is vector r direction of vector r then we can find out the direction of velocity in this direction so when we fold the four fingers perpendicular to this direction and this direction represent the direction of velocity and this represent the position vector direction that means this is the direction of velocity means r is perpendicular to v for consider this is x axis this is y axis then x the r is lying the x plane and v is lying the y plane y axis that means the angular momentum or the motion under the center of force is planar that means the motion is taking place in the x y plane the motion under center of force is taking place in the x y plane that means the motion under center of force is planar and this is the direction of position vector and the four finger the direction of four finger represent the direction of velocity and the thumb direction of thumb represent the direction of angular momentum that means if the position vector is in this direction then when we fold these four fingers and this represent the direction of velocity and the thumb represent the direction of angular momentum that means the angular momentum is in this direction if consider this is z axis then the angular momentum is in z direction okay so here we proved the motion under center force is planar right okay next we will discuss a, we will discuss about the third property